Good morning, I'm Dot from DotToTrot.com and I'm starting off my day with a salad. That's right, baby, salad. Uh, you don't have to have eggs for breakfast all the time. Uh, the one thing to keep in mind when you're thinking about breakfast, the word breakfast just simply means you're breaking the fast from the night before. It doesn't mean you are stuck eating only breakfast foods. The concept of breakfast foods was done by the food companies because they wanted more food products to sell you. So in the morning, you don't have to be, doesn't have to be eggs, doesn't have to be bacon. It doesn't have to be some type of pastry. You can actually have whatever you would like as long as it's real food, delicious, not loaded with sugar, not loaded with processed stuff, and certainly low carb. That's what this is. This is a Thai, uh, a grilled steak Thai salad. So I have a Thai dressing on top. I've got a flank steak that I'm using. It is delicious, it is tasty. And let's take a look at how I put this puppy together. All right, my steak's been marinating overnight. Yay, I'm gonna put that aside. I took it out about 30 minutes ago and about an hour it should be ready, or half hour it should be ready to hit the grill. So I'm just gonna put that to the side. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is get going on uh, showing you how I made the marinade, which is also gonna double as the actual salad dressing too. Um, so what you need, lime. Uh, what you really need for a good marinade is you need something acidic, like a vinegar. If you don't have vinegar, you can use citrus. Limes, uh, lemons, orange juice, they are wonderful, as well as uh, red wine. But you need something um, acidic to help tenderize the meat that you're using. So I'm using that, and I'm gonna go ahead, and you're gonna use the juice from one lemon, or excuse me, one lime. And the way to tell whether or not it's a juicy lime is the weight of it, how heavy it feels. And if you saw me rolling on the board, um, that's simply to help, you know, uh, loosen up the lime so I can get as much juice out of it as possible. What you're looking for is about two tablespoons of lime juice, which is usually what one lime yields. So let me go ahead and squeeze. Let's use the other half. So I've got my lime in. Now what I'm going to add is start adding my oils. Um, you can use, I don't use canola oil anymore, but you certainly could use that. I'm using two tablespoons of olive oil, but it's the olive oil for basting. It's not the olive oil that's um, extra virgin because that taste would just dominate this and I don't want the olive oil to shine through. The oil is there simply to hold them everything together for the marinade and for the dressing. So I'm using um, two tablespoons of just regular pure olive oil. And then I'm gonna use um, sesame oil, one teaspoon of that. And again, that'll give me the nice flavor I'm looking for with this dish. The other thing I'm gonna add is a tablespoon of coconut amino, and I'm using that in place of soy sauce. So, whoop, if you like soy sauce, you can certainly use it. I don't eat, I try to avoid soy myself, but and that's why coconut amino is really a great substitute. Go ahead, add in a tablespoon. There we go. Now, the next thing I'm gonna add, which I didn't do for the marinade um, because I don't cook with it, but I am doing it for the actual dressing itself. I'm adding a tablespoon of MCT oil. Again, just to make this more of a fat burning oil, uh, salad dressing. Again, I wouldn't put it into the marinade, but it's probably okay if you do that. Get up my fork, so I'm gonna beat this pretty soon. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is some one garlic clove, and it's already been minced. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add that. The next thing I'm gonna add, I'm gonna put this to the side, is some ginger, fresh ginger. And what I wanna do is I already went ahead and peeled it this morning. You just, you don't need that much ginger. You're just gonna add about one and a half teaspoons of ginger. So I'm gonna cut this off. And I'm gonna start chopping this up, making it much smaller with my paring knife. Oops. So again, you're just really mincing this up. You want really tiny pieces. Okay, so my ginger is all minced. It's gonna go in here and it smells wonderful. And now all I'm gonna do, oh, one more ingredient really important. I'm using um, crushed red pepper. Uh, you can use peppers, actual peppers if you choose to. I don't have any, 
Uh, so I'm using red pepper and that's perfectly fine. A little froggy in my throat, excuse me. So I'm going to go ahead and mix this all together. Mmm, it smells wonderful. What I'm going to do now is just to taste, I'm going to take a little leaf from the lettuce, dip it in, and this is just to see if I need to add anything else. Hmm, it's really good. I can definitely taste the flavors from the sesame oil, which is what I wanted. Beat this a little bit more, but it's pretty much ready to go. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on my lettuce. I'm not going to add the dressing until it's the steak is off the grill when we're getting ready to do that. Now I already have my lettuce here. Um, I already, and I'm just using green leaf lettuce and I've already gone ahead and I just ripped it apart. You don't have to, you know, do any chopping with it with a knife. But what I am going to do is I'm going to add some mint to it. Um, again, it just adds nice, wonderful flavor. And then after the mint, I'm going to go ahead, one more little mint leaf there. And I'm going to add my cilantro. So I'm going to move this to the side and I'm actually going to chop up the cilantro a little bit, just a little coarsely. All right. And now that simple stems and all are going to go into my salad. Next thing I'm going to add is I have cherry tomatoes. So all I'm going to do, I've cut them in half and I like to use the colorful ones, as you know, because, you know, I like colorful salads. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in my red onion. Again, just sprinkle that on top. So when I'm ready, I'm going to just pour the dressing on top of it. And then I'm just going to go ahead and toss. Okay, so what you want to do with your salad is you want to make sure your lettuce is really dry before you start putting all the ingredients in. Uh, if it's not dry, then your oil-based dressings won't stick to the lettuce at all. So just keep that in mind. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this aside. My husband's going to be grilling the steak uh, since... Most likely it's ready. Oh, it's actually right there. It's ready. Uh, and I'll have directions below on how to actually grill a steak or if you want to cook it in your oven or even on the stovetop. So you'll have that information below. But right now we're going to go ahead and fire up the grill and get this puppy on. All right, the steak is off the grill. I let it rest for 10 minutes. It came out perfectly. I can't wait to taste it. Uh, one of the little things I did was the juices that ran off the steak, um, I added them to my salad dressing just to boost the flavor a little bit because remember the steak's been marinating overnight in what we're going to use as the salad dressing. So I'm going to finish carving this up, cutting it up for the salads, and then when we come back, I'll, have a, I'll show you what it all looks like when it's put together. Um, I snuck a little piece of the meat while I was carving it and it tasted delicious. Uh, really lovely lime flavor. There's a hint of the ginger and a little bit of the garlic. It just tastes wonderful together. The flavors really go well. Um, I went ahead and I plated this dish. This is for my husband. Uh, you can use up to two tablespoons of the dressing uh, for your salad. Per person. I'm only using one because I find with um, with a vinaigrette it really spreads. That oil just spreads everything. Um, like I said, this is my husband so he's going to tuck in after um, he's done with the camera work. But um, I just wanted to show you that salads really are something you can have in the morning. You don't necessarily have to have eggs and bacon. So with that, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe, share with your friends if you'd like, and also let me know what types of salads you like or if you're thinking of trying starting out your day with a salad with some good protein. Um, trust me, it'll keep you full and it'll give you plenty of energy uh, as you start to start the day right. So with that, I will see you next time.